So I thought I will show you uh, the workflow with the new looper slash granular processor from ADEC. I know many people are curious about how it works. So we will go through some of its features. Um, there are two parts to this module, the main part with all the different controls for both the looper and the granular engines. And there's the expander with all the inputs and outputs, audio and CV. So let's really start recording something. We have so-called banks we can create and work in. So let's create a new bank. This here is the menu encoder. Then there is bank and new. So now we created a new bank. This bank is basically a folder on the SD card that can be saved and loaded at will. And of course, you can have multiple banks saved. Um, so this is great for live performances. And in each bank, there are the loops saved and also presets. So saved states with the different loops and settings for each presets. Um, and there's also the possibility to switch between presets with this control and also with CV, of course. It's also possible to switch between the loops also with CV. So I have a piano we can record. This is Leco from Felt Instruments, and there are a few inputs. So there is the stereo input, and the left channel is normal to the right, so you can record also mono signals. And there's also a stereo line level input, so you can use stereo instruments or record from your phone directly to the module. Now, all of those signals are summed into the mono output, which will output the mix of the audio in the inputs before the looper and granulizer. So I will use the stereo inputs. In my case, here I have the left channel and the right. And I will use also the stereo output. So there is left and right for stereo or also a mono output. But in my case, I will use the stereo. Now here we have the input gain that we can set and you can see the signal here on the LED that it's starting to blink which means that there is something coming in and also the dry control. So now we can hear also the piano. By the way the dry control has also a CV input so you can use it as a sort of a VCA more or less. So now we record a new, a new uh, loop by hitting new record. And then maybe play. And now we have control over the level of this loop, of course, also with CV control as well. We can play it in reverse. And this also has CV control, of course. We can also overdub. Here we have the overdub decay control. So how long it will take the original loop to fade out. The more we record, the more it will fade out. So let's record something. In this case, I will hit record and not new record. So we have this uh, overdubbed on top. There are a few more settings like the sync record. So you can record synced or unsynced. There is also record probability, which is great for generative patches. And there is also how it will record, record immediately or wait for the loop to begin. And there is also delay with deviation. So this, this will control the amount of delay, which is quite interesting. Record delay, of course. And there are other settings to explore, and everything is here on the panel itself. Now I can record a new loop, um, and for this I will use my kalimba. Let me show you this. This is the kalimba, I'm sorry it's so zoomed in, and it has a line, line output. So I'm just going to connect this directly to the looper or to the module let's say and the input gain is enough to amplify it so there is no need to use a different or another or an extra amplifier i'm just going to connect it here 
and let's set the input level. You can see here that it's already blinking. Very nice. So now I will record a new loop. Right. So this is now the kalimba. Now this we will not need anymore. And now we can switch between the loops again with the loop control and this will pick up where it is. So now I'll take it right and left. Now we have the piano. And the kalimba. And of course also this has CV control. Now it's also possible to copy loops and set different settings for each loop. And um, But now let's have a look at the pitch. So we can change the pitch of the loop with this control and you can see here, I hope you can see this. This will move up and down and you can see exactly where you are. So if I want to take it, let's say an octave up, I go to 12. Or I can take it an octave down and I will go to minus 12. But the interesting thing here is that since it's also a granular engine, we can change the pitch without changing the speed of play, uh, playback or the speed without changing the pitch. So pitch shifting or time stretching. So let's take it back to zero. And now we'll go to options. And in the options, there is not so many uh, options here, not so much uh, menu diving, but there is loop pitch mode. I can change it to, for example, pitch shift. So now it will change the pitch without changing the speed. So now it's the same speed or a playback speed but just the pitch is an octave down or I can also set it to time stretch and now the pitch will not change but the playback speed will change quite quite cool so this is more or less the looper there are other things to explore of course and but let's have a look now at the granular processor so here I already have a loop recorded sort of a flute and now we can bring uh, up the grains level again also this has a dedicated CV input now we still don't hear anything because we need to change the grains minimum level so this will set the minimum level of the of the grains and now add active grains with this control and now we can scan through the loop we can change also the length of the grains or the size We can add also some space in between the grains with the grain delay control. And those three controls we can either set to free, like we had it now, or we can sync them with the loop. So we have here two divisions divided by eight and divided by four. I'm, I'm pretty sure you cannot really see this because my camera is not so good, but you will have to trust me on this one. Um, so we can set it to sync with the division of the loop or set it to free just like it is now. Now each control is also a deviation settings that will randomly deviate uh, from the position of the control. So for example, here we have the playhead position and I can add deviation to it and you can see here on the screen that things are starting to move.
also for the length and also for this delay for this sorts of uh, spaces between the grains and also for the level so if I take the level down I can add sort of random movement from this position and then we have sorts of uh, velocity so different velocity for each grain we can set the playback direction so now they will play and you can see this here i hope you can see this uh, backward and forward you can set them to play only forward or leave it in the center and then they will play sometimes backward sometimes forward and there is also the grain repeats uh, control so if the grain will repeat itself with the same settings and we can either change the probability of this here with the switch up or the number of repeats with the switch down so I can just add some deviation Now we can add also panning for the grains, so they will be panned uh, left and right. We can have everything in between, but I will choose to have them panned hard left and hard right. Then we can change the envelope of the grains, or the window, as it's called. Um, here we have the attack, and again you can see this here also on the screen, I hope you can see this. And the decay, so we have something a bit smoother. And we can change the pitch of the grains, just like we did with the loop. And now this is interesting, we have also a few scales we can choose from. So for example, if I take it all the way to the right, we will move the pitch by octaves up and down. And of course this also has a CV input, a dedicated CV input which is right here, one, one um, volt per octave input. Or we can choose, for example, a pentatonic minor. So everything, all what we did now, we have CV inputs for the attack, for the decay, for the pitch, for the grain direction, for the grain uh, delay, for the length, for the position, for the deviation even, we can even control the deviation with CV. Okay, now let's say that we are happy with this. Let's add even more here. Let's say that we are happy with these settings and we can save this now as a preset. So if I go again to the settings we have here, preset, and I will hit new. And now we have this saved. And now we can change the settings a bit. So for example, let's choose a different loop. I have here another um, loop. this one and I can change it to move by octaves and take it maybe an octave down or an octave up let's say and change the attack and decay a bit change the position so I can change all of those settings and then again save this as another preset and now we can switch between the presets. Again, this will also um, work with CV. So here again, we have pentatonic minor and the pitch saved and all of the different settings and the loop, this was the flute. And we have the other settings that we saved.
And of course we can play this together with the loop. And change between the presets. So let's add some reverb to this and dive into granular heaven. So again, there is so much more to explore, uh, but this is more or less the basic features and workflow. Uh, thank you for watching, and cheers.